to some recent stats. Almost a quarter of children aged 10 to 15 are unhappy about their appearance. A massive 72% of girls feel strongly that too much attention is paid to the way female celebrities look. And a US study that has been running since the 60s showed that from a list of 16 values posed to preteens for the first time in 14 years, fame was their number one choice. Simply, for the next 20 minutes, just work a little bit harder than maybe we often do to put aside any assumptions that we might have um, and engage and reflect on how we all approach gender issues in particular, stereotyping in all of the projects and in our everyday work that we take on and what role, if any, we could play or might already in managing the outcome. Now, in a few moments' time, I am delighted to be introducing to you to this stage, Taylor Houchen. Uh, she is nine years old. She is the manager of a new kind of pop star, Catherine Bennett, or CB, to her fans. <laughs> but first, before we do that, there is a little behind-the-scenes look at how Taylor and Catherine began their journey together. <laughs> Would you wear any of that? No. Why not? Where's my get up and go? I've tried so hard and so long. Just a moment motivated. What is it about her voice that you don't want? Then it's a bit cockney. I'm tiptoeing tight ropes, I'm taking too long. I'm breaking and I'm shaking, scared to get the job done. Okay, so we're in the middle of transforming. Right into CB. Excuses and I'm hiding on the clocks. It's happening again. On one hand, Taylor was saying, oh yeah, she's really practical, and on the other hand, she was like, yeah, she really likes zigzags in like black and orange, no matter what. How is that practical? Do I look like Von Shepherd? We were given a brief by Taylor, like a list of songs that we had to write to turn them into a hip hop song. <laughs> She's supposed to be quite literate, isn't she? She's not like you. What are you waiting for? It's happening again. What are you waiting? What are you what? What are you waiting for? What I wanted to learn is that if you want to do something in the world, you, you have the power to do it. What I don't want to do is give her this view that the world is this crazy place where fame happens, because that's not what the world's like. What are you waiting for? Please give a very warm welcome to the awesome Taylor Houchen. Hi, my name's Taylor. I am nine years old. I am in year five. I go to Westwood Junior School. I live in St. Ives in Cambridgeshire. I like Irish dancing, Jessie J, Tang Soo Doo and Trina Pasta. When I grow up, I want to be a midwife. I have been working with my auntie, Bri, who is an artist. We have been working together for almost a year when I'm not at school. Our project together is called Credible Likeable Superstar Role Model. It's a social campaign, theatre show, documentary and education project. If you don't already know, a role model is someone you admire, whose behaviour inspires you, makes you happy, and want to achieve something as well as they have. Ages ago, me and my auntie Bryony had a look at the role models that were offered to kids like me on TV, in music, and online. We found that they were all very similar. Lots of them talked about fame and money, the girls all looked similar, and the way they made you feel was the same. Most of them also tried to sell you something. We started to think about a different role model who wasn't like that, and we decided to make one come to life as an alternative. I chose my top five personality traits from a list that Bryony gave me. These are the ones I chose. Kindness, community, tradition, hard work, and safety. 
I then created a character that had these traits. Bryony asked me hundreds of questions all the time. I am in charge. I am the manager. She then goes away and makes things come to life. It is very funny and a bit strange. <laughs> Her name is Catherine Bennett. She works in a museum of dinosaurs. She has a dog called Cookie. She is 29. She is good at what she does. She works hard to get there. Her favourite food is tuna pasta. <laughs> Her bedroom is light blue. She has lots of friends, likes parties and being outdoors. She goes to the gym every day and practices her martial arts. She has a boyfriend called Matthew and a best friend called Chelsea. Matthew is a proofreader. Chelsea is a midwife. <laughs> to relax, she lays on the sofa and reads a book. Her favourite film is War Horse. She likes 80s mu music. She cycles everywhere. And her favourite TV programme is Tom Diamond Me. <laughs> Catherine, as you have seen, has shoulder length, blonde, curly hair. She wears glasses and a dinosaur bone necklace all the time. <laughs> has blue eyeshadow and red lipstick. She wears knee length skirts and likes polo necks. She is quite covered up. She is quite clumsy, so doesn't wear high heels. She always has a backpack, even when on the red carpet. She is a normal lady. We decided that pop music was the best way to reach people my age, so CB became a pop star. My auntie played me hours and hours of music. She then gave me a sentence and made me fill in the blanks with musicians and bands. CB sings songs like Lily Allen, written by the B-52s and produced by the Gorillas. I then gave Bryony and Tom, who makes music, the things I thought CB would sing about, things that made me and my fr friends happy. Animals, friendship, getting up, and being happy. <laughs> Catherine Bennett wants you to believe that anything is possible in life. She wants you to use your imagination and wants to make sure that no one ever feels small. We now need to get C CB famous so we can prove that kids would like an alternative role model. We have decided that fame means one million hits on YouTube, interviews on three TV shows, newspaper and magazine coverage, celebrity friends, radio play, and one big company to offer to buy her, so we know that they are scared. <laughs> I want to show you one of our music videos. This is sang about animals and friendship. This is Animal Kingdom. Flocking birds Not following the migration paths Of the great plain herds Some for reasons, some for seasons, some fair weather You and me, friend, will always be together Friendships Move like flocking birds Raise your hands if you're alive
we do all right? Yeah. Yes. Um, I need some volunteers. <laughs> Looking to you two, yeah, good. And John, are you around? Come on, that'd be calm. Because we want to teach you our dance. <laughs> we'll sit John by the John lives in New York and he recorded the song when we were in New York and then um, we sort of didn't realise that you needed in the videos. We need a film. He's not here today, Emma. Um, Hello. Hello. Um, right. Um, if, if you would like to, you can do the movements in your seat. <laughs> That's how we teach it in assemblies, isn't it? They're yeah. seated, so they just do the hand movements. So, are you ready? Okay, so there's there's names for them. There's crab, crab, deer, deer. Come on, guys. <laughs> crab, crab, deer, deer. Yeah, that's fine. You happy with that? Yeah. Then we have a hand jive fish. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> hand jive fish. Swim it to the side. <laughs> okay with that? Hand dry fish, swim it to the side. Uh, and then we're a horse. So we stamp our feet and we, well, we click up our feet. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And if you want to, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hand dry fish, swim it to the side. Horse, two, Then we have a rather shy duck, don't we? Who doesn't want to be looked at or look at us. So she looks at us, and as we look at her, she looks away. And then she looks at us again, and we miss it. And then we snaffle a kiss. And the schools, for the little boys, we say they can go, and they, want, they don't want to always kiss, do they? So shy duck, shy duck, we're travelling. Shy duck, snob. Yeah? <laughs> then we've got to... Are you all right with this, guys? You don't look like you're doing it. <laughs> shy duck, shy duck, shy duck. Kiss. Uh, monkey, monkey. Jump, jump. And you can just pretend or jump on your seat. <laughs> monkey, monkey, jump, jump. Snake goes through a hole. <laughs> Opens up straight to have a lie down. Are you all right with that? Snake goes through a hole. Opens up straight to have a lie down. Cross your heart. Two giraffes <laughs> <laughs> and birds. All animals. Okay, so apart from cross your heart, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so let's do a live version. Oh, so um, I'll just call out stuff that we have to do, like pretend to be birds. And, um, and oh, in schools, don't worry. In schools, we ask, because John's not there, we ask them, um, what type of dancing would you like to do when um, John Bergman sings? And the best one so far has been Scottish dancing. <laughs> but what kind of dancing would you like to do when John Bergman sings? Could be anything. Could be country dancing or eighties. Eighties, eighties dancing. <laughs> Rock <Rather laughs> <than fine. laughs> <laughs> what we want. Eighties <laughs> dancing. Oh, a robot. Right. Okay. Yeah, robot, um, yeah. Feel free to join in. Should we just give it a bash?
actually. And um, I said to kids, I said to kids, what would you like songs about if they didn't have to be about feelings or love? And one said, air hockey. <laughs> was what's going to happen in the future, wasn't it? What's, I think the question was what's going to happen to polar bears in the future. Yeah. Okay, so we wrote this song, um, it's called The Future. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh no. Or some sort of... 